What is going on, Ancrew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. I hope you guys, hope the Ancrew are having a fantastic day. So first off, this is my new filming location. This is my new studio type thing. I don't know. And I actually haven't told my parents this yet, nor my brother. My brother is at college. This is his room, so I sort of commandeered it. He's gone right now. No one's living here, so I thought... Why not just move in with all my YouTube gear and make it into a studio? So that's what I did. Quick plug, if you guys have not yet followed me on Instagram, I'd really appreciate it if you'd follow me on Instagram at AndrewJMES. But anyways guys, enough with the plugs, let's start talking about hyperlapses. I've already done a couple videos on hyperlapses in the past, specifically how to make hyperlapses, but today we're not talking about necessarily how to make a hyperlapse, but more about how to edit the hyperlapses together to make this sort of coming out of a door effect. A lot of times travel filmmakers will use this as sort of the climax of the song build up. Most of the time people want to use the drop in the song in their edits, but it's hard to find footage that sort of lives up to the hype. If you're slowly building up to the drop of the song, you really want to have something that just fits with the song, like it sort of just meets the hype of the song. And hyperlapse montages are a really great way to do that. So this is my hyperlapse montage tutorial. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. And without further ado, let's hop into After Effects and start talking about this effect. All right guys, so I'm on the computer now inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and it's time for us to start talking about this effect. Now I just quickly grabbed all this footage inside of my house. Obviously I would not use this for an actual edit because it's just my house, it's kind of weird, but it's really easy just to go into like a town or a city and just find some places with doors and just get some footage like this. You're just gonna slowly walk towards the door. None of these are sped up right now, this is just the normal playback speed. We'll speed up all of it later on inside of After Effects, but we're gonna add one quick effect inside of Premiere. And that is just the posturize effect. Posturize time, not stylize time. And all this does is it allows you to essentially take out frames from your footage. I filmed all of these hyperlapses as footage, it's actual video files at 24 frames per second because it's just faster to do it this way, but because of that, it doesn't look like an actual time lapse. An actual time lapse is a bunch of individual pictures morphed together into a video. So what you do with this posturized time effect is you go down to the frame rate, and I'm just gonna change it to 15 frames per second. And see, we've taken out a bunch of frames and that's why it looks kind of choppy. Don't worry, it's not gonna look like that in the final product. It's gonna be sped up so it looks more natural, but this just helps to make it look a little bit more like a time lapse. I'm gonna copy this effect by hitting Control C, go over to my other clips, go to Edit, Paste Attributes, and then uncheck all the boxes except for Posturize Time. Hit OK, and now all these clips will have that same effect with the frame rate at 15 frames per second. With that being done, we can select all of our clips, right click, and hit Replace with After Effects Composition. We're going to select the top clip, right click, go to Time, Enable Time Remapping, go out a keyframe at the beginning, and then we're just going to select those two keyframes at the end and drag them in. Now in between these two keyframes is our video. At the end of the second keyframe, we can just split the clip by hitting Control shift d deleting that file. Now what we're gonna do is a little bit of graph editing. So select your keyframes, hit F9 on your keyboard or right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And now select this button to go into the graph editor. Now the graph editor is something I've talked about a lot. I'm not gonna go over it again in this video, but pretty much you're just gonna see these handlebars you're gonna drag this bottom handlebar to the left, and you're gonna drag this top handlebar down. So you're going for this general curve, just like that. And if you wanna see a more detailed tutorial on the graph editor, you can check out my video on speed ramping. I'll link it in the description. Now when we play through our clip, you can see that it starts off slow and then whoosh, and then moves in really quickly. Now what we're gonna do is go to our next few clips, enable time remapping, add a keyframe at the beginning, add a keyframe at the end, and then we're just gonna drag it in just like that. So it's speeding it way up. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the next clip, add a keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the end, drag the keyframes in. Same thing goes for this clip, time, enable time remapping, add a keyframe at the beginning, add a keyframe at the end, drag it in to speed it up. All right guys, cool. So I just finished up speeding up all these clips. So the next thing and pretty much the final thing that we have to do is just add some motion blur. So when there is in camera movement, what you do is you go over to effects, motion blur, and you add something called CC force motion blur. And what I'm gonna do is just drag the shutter angle way up. And now I'm just copying it and pasting it to all of the next few clips. And there you go guys, it really is that easy. Really it just comes down to getting the right type of footage, adding the posturize effect, adding the speed effect, and adding some solid motion blur. Once you've done all those effects, you should have a pretty solid looking hyperlapse montage. So without further ado, I'm going to ram preview this effect and we can watch our work.
Boom, there you go guys, that is how to do this effect. It is so, so, so smooth. If you guys are still curious about how to make hyperlapses or anything like that, then check out my videos. I have one from like a year ago or so, and then I have a more recent one from this past summer. If you guys have not yet joined The Ant Crew, The Ant Crew is a place for creative entrepreneurs, aspiring editors, aspiring YouTubers, aspiring filmmakers, and just people like that. We're the social innovators of tomorrow, so I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button and join this awesome community. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.